Hi, I'm Adam Martinetti. And I'm Mike Mooring. And we'd like to talk to you about the new Democratic Party of Canada. The NDP cares about the middle class families like yours and ours. In fact, they're practically a part of the family already. Except, NDP, if you actually were a member of the family, you'd be the youngest sibling. And we all know what that means. While the rest of us are over at the grown-ups table choking down dry turkey, you're over at the kids' table making mountains out of mashed potatoes. Yes, you may be filled with youthful vitality and optimism, unjaded and uncorrupt. Yes, you may have the best ideas. But just face it, you were born last. So the next time that you and your family pile into the minivan to go see Uncle Duffy, you might think that you belong in the front seat. You probably do. But the reality of it is, you're stuck all the way in the back in your booster seat, sucking Sunny D through a Twizzler, getting car sick and throwing up all over your Kindle. On the bright side, voting NDP is a wonderful opportunity to witness the magic of Canada's uniquely undemocratic approach to democracy. Each election, NDP supporters love to march on down to the polls and partake in their favorite voting ritual. That is, casting their ballot, then promptly dropping to their knees to pray for a liberal win or a quick death. <laughs> oh, Mike. God only listens to conservative prayers. This election, Adam and I would like to recommend some alternate voting methods for added convenience. For example, you could try whispering your vote into your hands and then gently releasing it into the air like a bird you've nursed back to health. Or try folding your ballot and casting it into the wind like a message in a bottle. Equally effective is burying it in your backyard under the cover of darkness. Or simply light fire to your vote in hopes that it will keep your middle class family warm during the next conservative minority government. The New Democratic Party of Canada. There's always next time.